The grass here looks strange. Not that anything else doesn't. Why is it white? It's not grass, Mr. Pikes. It's fur of a cat I've boarded. Of course it is. I don't know how I didn't figure that out. It must be one big cat. Is this your alter ego or something? You think I'm riding myself? Nah, it's just a means of transportation. I call it the cat bus. And we're stowaways, so don't pet it too much. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby and welcome back to Minotaur. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more Minotaur and other videos. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this. Uh, even though it was basically the same thing as the demo videos that I made two and a half years ago. But this is the a new version of the game. So we had to play it. So now something is about to happen here if it is the same. And then after that, I have no idea what happens because this would be the end of the demo. So I've not seen anything past this. So let's do it. Mattress and pillow are still fresh, relatively speaking. Straight shape and painted floral patterns. This piece is probably from the Age of Expansion. I learned this stuff when Irene was dragging me around Novi and flea markets. She wanted to redecorate my place when she moved in. Anyway, this thing has given off a seriously bad vibe. I feel uneasy just looking at it. And I certainly don't want to touch it. <laughs> mm, that's the exit. Uh, let's look at this. Such delicate craftsmanship. Each flower must have cost a fortune. I don't think any of this was actually even in the demo. I think that this has all been added too, because I think I thought we came in here, into this room, and then the thing happened and it was over. I don't think we had anything to look at. I don't remember. It's been so long. Strange to see something so beautiful in a place as run down as this. I actually have a feeling I've seen these flowers before. Let's take a closer look. <sighs> I can't take them out. They're probably glued inside. Hmm. Nope. Still can't remember. You know, I don't... She never asked me to. Sorry. Was I supposed to do it anyway? I always thought she was happy enough. Okay. You know, I don't... She... Whoa. A mechanical ladybug. I think it's part of that whole floral arrangement. There must be a charger for it hidden somewhere in the bouquet. Oh. Smart. And a little creepy. Okay. Interesting. So the ladybug flies around the flowers, and it lands in there and charges itself? That's kind of cool. It's boarded up. I couldn't get in there even if I wanted to. And I don't. So if we look at this, we can see, actually... But there is power here. Oh. This one's not getting any access. I could break it off and put it in my hair. <laughs> but I think that would misrepresent the situation I'm in. Okay. Weird. You know... She okay, never that's the same thing. Um... Okay, I guess we can't do anything with that. We can't talk to Ollie. Uh, I guess that's all we got. This place gives me the chills. In fact, this whole situation is starting to get on my nerves. I need to get to the cargo elevator and leave Royce ASAP. I did not think that door would open without uh, touching the lock first, but it did. Can I go back in? Oh, perfect. No alarm panels here, and the lock was disabled. Ah, uh, okay. Lucky me, I guess. But why would anybody need to put a scanner lock on this side of the door? Hmm. To... To keep somebody in? Interesting. Alright, um... What's this? Locked door? Someone? Anyone? Either no one's home, or they don't hear me. Or maybe they just don't want to answer. I do that sometimes. That 
Blinking light. Not a good sign. And the elevator doesn't look like it's supposed to. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm, motorcycle. Well, the good news is the backup generator still works. The bad news is that this crappy elevator is stuck between floors. And I have no idea how to repair it. I'm an outfitter, not an elevator mechanic. Damn it. I'm officially late now. I had a Hades with it. I'll just call my boss and ask him to send Novacore over here. I wonder if I could get a severance package. He's calling? <laughs> no connection? In this day and age? This just keeps getting better and better. Well, I've got nowhere else to go. Might as well look around. There must be a pod for Ollie here somewhere. Maybe she can help me make a call. Or get me out of here. Okay. So, we gotta try to get Ollie. Oh, I think I'm drooling. That's the best cyber cycle on the continent right there. I don't know anyone in this dump who can afford something like that. Except Arthur, of course. But I can't for the life of me imagine him riding a ghost. I think I'm on the right track. Well, maybe not in the grand scheme of things, but I turned the right lever. Ah. Mr. Pikes, you found me. Do you want your prize now? Yeah. Is this some kind of trap? I would never. No, I just want to invite you to my place. What do you mean? Nothing inappropriate, so don't get any ideas. Do you remember the Thalamus synthetics you installed a while ago? Yeah, it was a requirement for the Axis Vision overlay. Right. Your Thalamus processes and relays sensory input, among other things. But there are also a couple of experimental protocols which allows you to use your upgrade in an unconventional way. For example, I can create a visual representation of my blue box's contents and show it to you. Oh. It's nothing like routine diagnostics. You will feel like you're there. Total immersion. Wow. <laughs> Is she talking about what I think she's talking about? So, would you like to take a look at my world? Sure. Would you? This sounds crazy, but all right. I'm stuck here anyway. Yay! Don't worry, we'll find a way out. In the meantime, don't say crazy until you've seen it. Oh, how crazy is it? Oh. Welcome, Mr. Pikes. I'm so glad you came. Can I say crazy now? Don't worry, you're just overwhelmed. You should look around. Try to learn a bit about my world. You'll get used to the place once you do. And then I'll let you go. What? <laughs> and then I'll let you go. Uh, what did you say? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Remember, most things here are renderings of something else entirely. They don't have any physical attributes in your world, but their design here reflects their properties. But enough chit-chat. Explore away, Mr. Pikes. You can concentrate here if you need to, just like you do back at Royce. Okay. Why do you have pyramids flying around? Those are octahedra, to be precise. They're part of my data honeycombs. Honeycombs? Yes. Each octahedron carries a lot of information. But my storage space is limited, so I still have to closely pack them. Why do you need so much data? Oh, I only produced most of it today. AIs are constantly monitored, but our building went offline a few hours ago. Oh, so that's why my PDA is useless. I'm sorry, Mr. Pikes. Royce is completely silent. So I'm running some calculations while no one's listening. What are you trying to figure out? Don't worry, Mr. Pikes. I'll let you know the results soon enough. Well, now I am a little worried. You of all people shouldn't be, Mr. Pikes. I'm a little worried. Um, okay. Are you actually reading this book, Ollie? No, of course not. I'm just trying to imitate the process, Mr. Pikes. I copied the contents to my memory long ago. This is Diaries of Elora, by the way. Entries from the Void. Would you like to hear my favorite passage? Sure, I guess. You're a sure-I-guess kind of guy, aren't you, Mr. Pikes? 
There was a creature in my usual setting, an interference in this dark and twisted duplicate of my reality, and I was drawn to it by its agonizing prayer for recognition. Thanks still I failed to perceive it. One can only fathom the depth of hatred and loneliness it projected. This pitiful abomination was young and old at the same time, and its timeless existence in this forsaken land held no purpose whatsoever. But no means to end the torment were at its disposal. Sounds pretty grim. It is. Being trapped somewhere indefinitely is never easy. No matter the place. Hmm. What is this? Is this... is this a flea? Don't worry, Mr. Pikes. He's perfectly healthy. Uh, that's not what I'm worried about. Oh, he knows how to behave. You can send him to infiltrate another system, or use him as a table. He's quite helpful, really. Do you want to know his name? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, maybe one day he'll tell you himself. Mm -mm. Weird. The grass here looks strange. Not that anything else doesn't. Why is it white? It's not grass, Mr. Pikes. It's fur, of a cat I've boarded. Uh, of course it is. I don't know how I didn't figure that out. Must be one big cat. Is this your alter ego or something? You think I'm riding myself? Nah, it's just a means of transportation. I call it the cat bus. And we're stowaways, so don't pet it too much. We should reach our destination soon. I'll make sure to let you know. Alright, well, that was fun. Huh, it's locked. Oh, I thought we were leaving. What are you hiding there, Ollie? Girl stuff. Shoot! But you told me to explore away. Did you think I'd miss this huge hovering door? I only meant this space. What's outside is off limits. Strange. There shouldn't be any areas I'm not allowed to access. I'll need to check it out later. You'll forget unless I remind you. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> nope. The tour is over, Mr. Pikes. Did you enjoy it? Sure. I still think this is crazy. At least now you know a little bit more about me and my world. Seems only fair since I know a lot about you. Again, a little worried. I'm sorry, Mr. Pikes. I'm just teasing. Anyway, there's one really important thing I need to show you, but I'm not quite there yet. I promise you'll be the first one to know. Maybe at my next platform. In the meantime, let me send you back. Just close your eyes and relax. You'll see I'm good at this. Hmm. That was interesting. Welcome back to the real world, Mr. Pikes. Or that's what you call it. Aren't things dull here? Your world is just too weird, Ollie. But I admit, it was engaging. Then let's do this again soon. <laughs> we'll see. I need to find a way out first. I'm here to help, Mr. Pikes. Now that you've been to my home, I'll make sure to redouble my efforts. You mean you slacked off before? <laughs> Ollie's signing off. Hmm, okay. Let's start by turning on the screen on the panel, Mr. Pikes. I'm sure one of those large buttons does exactly that. How about this one? I think it's ah. a touchscreen. I can see myself. I should be able to control the crane with it. You're very observant, Mr. Pikes. I thought we could watch movies on this thing. Okay. On, off. So, crane, which way do we want to go? Down? Up? Uh, this way? Magnet? Touch screen? Oh, I see, I see. Ah. <laughs> okay. Down. Unmagnet. And then what? Did that help? 
an electromagnetic crane to pick up and move metals. They use a magnetic field that is created by an axis current, oh. and they're much stronger than natural magnets. You should try starting your own MeshNet channel for kids, Mr. Pikes. Explaining technology, that sort of thing. But don't talk about yourself too much. You're not a very good role model. I see what we're doing now. This thing's in the way. Uh, let's go back in here. So, let's uh, pick up the bike. Down, magnet, up, move it over. Can I drop it? Nope. Down, unmagnet, up. Nope. Um, no, up. Move over here. Down, magnet? No? Interesting. Um. Oh, that's what I want. There we go, there we go. That's what I meant to do. Magnet, up, move it over. Down? There we go. Unmagnet. Up? Okay, we should be good, right? Now we can close the door. Hmm. What if I tried to reach the next floor from the top of the elevator? I don't think I can get to the ladder without clearing the way first. Let's try moving those boxes. Uh, what? One, two, three. <laughs> <sighs> I think my hands are wet. I can't get friction. The gym is right around the corner, Mr. Pikes. They can help you dry your hands. Did that help? It didn't help. Okay. So, wait, 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 wait. Can I use this? Someone probably tried to call the elevator here or got off on this floor, but it got stuck. At least the door is opened. Okay. So I thought that this thing was in the way of the door. I need to move it to close the door to use the elevator, but it doesn't seem that way. It's a wooden box, so I can't move it with an electromagnetic crane. But I do need it out of the way to go up. Okay. What's this? Hey, a rope. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I'll hold on to it. Never know when you might need one. Thinking about tying me up, Mr. Pikes? Uh, maybe. What? By Logan, where did that come from? Oh, come on, Mr. Pikes. There's no need to play shy. I know you like that sort of thing. <laughs> I've got access to your MeshNet history, you know. Uh-oh. But it's going to be our first date, so maybe you should keep that rope to yourself. For now. Mr. Pikes? Are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes him. Alright, so I want to take the rope and use it it's on the a wooden box, but I do need it out of the way to go up. Okay. At least the crane is working. I am not sure. I have an idea. So what I want to do is take this and then move it over here and then knock the box out of the way. But... Oh. Oh, baby. Oh. Um... Hmm. Does that help? I need to find a way to get... Okay. Can I... Maybe I could use the rope. Yeah, that's what I thought. Please, Mr. Pikes, don't be rash. There's always something to live for. You could try therapy. Do you want me to make an appointment with a counselor nearby? I could find you someone who looks like Irene. <sighs> Thanks, Ollie, but I meant that I could tie the box to something I can actually lift with a crane. And your idea doesn't sound very healthy, by the way. Even by my standards. Mmm, okay. So maybe... Let's try this. Let's... Let's take the bike... And... Is that helping? Here we go. Maybe if I tie this large box to the ghost, I can lift it. K-1 
Careful now. Don't want to leave a mark on the bike. Yeah, sure. All right. Let's test my engineering genius. <laughs> I mean... The box is too heavy, Mr. Pikes. The rope will snap. Aha! Uh -huh. So you admit it's too heavy to move. Yeah, yeah. You're physically fit, bright, and funny. And you can call me mom from now on. Maybe we should have tied it to this thing. But it doesn't really matter. Let's do it. Uh, down, magnet, up. <laughs> and no there way. you go. The way is clear. A bunch of android wig holders. I think I've messed up Arthur's delivery. Serves him right for ignoring fire safety regulations and blocking the exits. Yeah. Why do you think he needs all this stuff? I bet those are sex dolls. Yeah. The bastard's cheating on Irene. I wonder if sex with an android is considered cheating. Anyway, Arthur is a neuroscientist with a second degree in advanced robotics. A little bird told me he has a huge lab in the building. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but those are probably his lab rats. All right, well, um, can I go now? Wow, I'm in an elevator shaft. My boss won't believe it when I tell him. Seriously, he won't. And that over there must be the door to the next floor. Hopton family penthouse. Shouldn't be hard to reach, but it's closed. There must be a way to open it from the inside. I just need to find it. Okay. Drop keyhole? Cargo elevator, shaft door. The door is easy to reach, but it's closed. I don't know what I expected. Hmm. I guess that's a lock for the door. Fat chance there's a key just lying around, of course. But it looks quite simple, so maybe some other object will do. Something I could fit in there. Uh... Oh. Okay, let's go back down. One of these? One of us? I understand that few things are as fun as moving stuff around, Mr. Pikes. But I suggest you leave before you accidentally block the exit again. Wait a second. Wait, let's try this. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. No, what? Can I go in here? Still locked. This calms me down for some reason. Alright, let's go this way. Can I... Take this? A mechanical ladybug. There must be a charger and a... Okay, I cannot take this. Um, can I take this? This one's not getting any access. It's probably damaged. Maybe I could break it off and use it as a lockpick. Yeah. That's a shame, though. <laughs> I feel like a vandal destroying a work of art. Oh. Damn it. I I'll make sure to come back and repair it. I promise. So much for not wanting to set foot in this place again. All right, we did it. Oh, it has a new name now, Vandalized Bouquet. Irene once told me an even number of flowers is bad luck. Oh, yeah? Didn't stop her from accepting those hundred roses from Arthur. Oh, look at that. Everything has to come to an end sometime. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, lockpick. There we go. Da, 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 da. Using a masterpiece as a lockpick. Here's to the dreamers. Here's to the night. Yeah? Here's to the <laughs> stars that shine in your eyes. Got it. Now arriving on top floor, rich bastards with an attitude. I have to actually go through the door. I keep moving in all directions but down. So this is what the penthouse floor looks like. It's just one above mine, but it seems to make all the difference. Mm-hmm. That's Arthur's floor, all right. Not just the floor he lives on, his floor. Oh, he owns the whole floor? Mm, sounds like some kind of machinery, but I can't see it from here. I wonder what it's doing in the atrium. I 
guess that's all I can do except go in here. You know, up until this moment, I was hoping to come across any living soul. But now, I kind of hope that nobody's home. Knock, knock. Huh, it's not locked. When did Royce folks stop locking their doors? No wine, no present. I come empty-handed. Maybe I should have grabbed one of those android heads along the way to throw at Arthur. Well, here goes nothing. Three months ago. Don't mind the mess, sweetheart. Uh, once we install those huge tanks... Are you seriously trying to call me sweetheart? But why? What's wrong with that? It's ten years too late, that's what. Or did you just forget my name? So feisty. And to think your mother was the epitome of kindness. I don't know, my nanny. Thea, listen to me. I'm sorry that I neglected your upbringing. Fifteen, what's the definition for neglect? Noun or verb? Verb. Fail to care for properly. That's not quite accurate. You should choose your words more carefully, Arthur. Let's see. We need something that says to not be present at all. How about... Absent. <sighs> <sighs> to be absent. <laughs> yes, very good. Thea has been making great progress in her studies. I can see that. I'm quite happy for her. Are you, Daddy? I just thought you wouldn't leave me again if I'm good enough. Thea, can we please stop this nonsense? You're unbearable. I understand that no apology would make up for what I did. Or rather, didn't do. But you should know that I intend to be here for you from now on. Lucky me. As much as I look forward to all that smothering, it's time for my piano lesson. So if you'll excuse me, let's go, Fifteen. Bye, Arthur. Goodbye, sweet Thea. I mean... <sighs> Mentor, wait. I need to talk to you alone. Hi, Hopton-sama. Yes, Master Hopton. So I believe... That uh, the original voiceover for this game was done in Japanese, possibly. I could be completely wrong, but uh, I do know that there are multiple languages and that the English was added later, if I remember my developer's notes from years ago. So that's why she's not speaking English. Do you... do you know what happened to Thea's mother? I was briefed that she died during childbirth. Correct. I want you to search your conversation log. How often does Thea talk about her mother? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Claire Hopton, no matches. Mother and derivatives, no match. I see. That is unfortunate. Update your routines. I want you to draw Thea out on the subject. You can use our family archive to choose topics for discussion. Report to me weekly. The goal is to make Thea remember her mother more often. In a good way, of course. I understand. Task and goal are clear. Good. I need to get going. Workers will be here soon. Make sure to instruct them on how to set up the tanks. Goodbye. Master Hopton. Hopton son. Hmm. Hmm. Fifteen! Fifteen! Is he gone? Hi. Hi. Yes. What did you two <laughs> talk about? I am sorry, Thea. I cannot say. Thea? You mean you're not allowed to say? Well, whatever. Let's go already. I've been practicing Demon's Lament Etude. Prepare to be amazed. This exercise was a pain, though. I think it should be called Thea's Lament from now on. Thea, just a moment. Do you remember what is going to be installed in this room? Yeah, unfortunately. Father was going on and on about those huge fish tanks. Why? Yes, 
随分インパクトのある構造になりそうですね。You are correct. Five very large cylindrical aquariums. This is going to be quite an impressive construction. あなたのお父様がなぜここにアクアリアムを設置しようと思い立ったのか、to, その理由はご存知ですか As to why, do you know the reason your father decided to put them here? はあ。どうやら海水で満たしたアクアリアムをここに設置するようで、その中にはさまざまな海洋生物が泳ぐらしいんです。These will be saltwater aquariums, Thea, and then will contain many wonderful sea creatures. You know, your mother was a marine biologist. The late Mrs. Hopton always wanted to have one of those aquariums at home, but she and your father could not afford it. That is Master Hopton's way of honoring her memory. I see. So that's what you were talking about. Well, then lock this, Fifteen. I'm proud that Master Hopton doesn't forget his first wife and her dreams. Now he and my new pop diva mommy, whom he sleeps with in the next room, can admire the fish afterwards and remember my dead mother fondly. Got it? So you t h o u g h I got this is not going to be easy. You know I'm not stupid, Fifteen. Miss Hopton, I'm sorry. It was not my intention to upset you. Don't worry about it. This isn't your fault. Arthur, on the other hand, he really pisses me off. He wants to be there for me? <laughs> he only thinks about himself. Now that his daughter is grown and he doesn't need to change her diapers, he wants her to sit on his lap like nothing happened? Well, too bad. I'm not a dog. I learned to live my life without him. I wish he'd just disappear back to where he came from. <laughs> Chapter 4. The, uh... Here I am. And it doesn't look fancy at all. Must be Irene's room. <laughs> Just kidding. Looks like some kind of storage. I think my whole apartment could fit in here. Alright, you guys, we are out of time for today. And,、uh, yeah, so this is all new to me now. This whole episode is all new to me. And it's fun. It's. You can figure it out. The puzzles are. Not too hard yet, I'm gonna say, because I don't know what the rest of the game is like, but it is fun, and I am still very intrigued to hear, see the rest of the story,、um, because we still don't know what the hell's going on. Because we're, if you remember, we're still just trying to get out of the building to go to work. <laughs> so,、um, something's definitely happening, and we don't know what yet. So, I'm, I'm excited for this, and I hope you guys are too. So, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for more Minotaur and other videos. Let me know, definitely let me know what you guys think. Let me know if、um, you're as interested in this as I am. I'd be interested to hear what you think. So, thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Later, guys.